Oi, hey, hello everyone. Uh, it's Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I thought uh, <laughs> I would just uh, have this random video uh, of me doing a bookshelf tour since I know some people like that um, and I'm feeling nice um, for once. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go over. Um, I have I have like four four book uh, bookcases. Um, it is not enough. You will see that immediately. Uh, I'm not going to show you my antique books I do have a video showing up, uh, showing off most of my antique books. Um, you know, the ones I had at the time that I made that video. It's pretty early when I started this channel. Um, and I'm not going to show you my magazines. Maybe I'll do a separate video for that. But those are just in the closet. They're too hard to get to. So um, anyways, yeah. So I have a, uh, a Brandon Sanderson book, a couple of Brandon Sanderson books, um, some Terry Brooks. Oh, you want me to show the bookcase? Okay, that makes sense. I could probably do that for you. Okay, here's the actual top part of this bookshelf. I do have some Brandon Sanderson actually right there. Um, that's all stuff I read a few years ago. Then here's the Shannara, which I've read uh, this one <laughs> of these five. And I've read the original three as well. And then uh, Dawn of Wonder, which I won from a giveaway from an Erudite Adventure. Have not yet read it. And then book three in the Cold Fire Trilogy by C.S. Uh, Friedman, I think is how you say her name. Uh, there's a prequel book actually coming out this summer, I just discovered. And then this is where it gets immediately hectic, as I don't have enough room um, at all. I probably need a couple more bookcases to fit all my books. So here's some Forgotten Realms books. Here's some Eldros Legacy books. Back there I have Jarello um Elder God, was it? Elder Race, Elder Race by Tchaikovsky. The Copper Promise by uh, Jen Williams, I think. A Conan Pastiche. Um, more Forgotten Realms books. Um, then I have more Forgotten Realms books, some Ed Greenwood stuff that is not Forgotten Realms. Uh, more Forgotten Realms books up here. Let's see if there's something interesting behind this. Uh, oh, I have the the Dream Thief trilogy or whatever the heck. The Raven Boys. I don't know, by Maggie. Maggie Steve Flotter or whatever her name is. It's been a minute. I read those a while ago. I don't read a lot of YA. And then down to the second shelf. Look, I have coal and... A Voyage to Arcturus, some cherry stuff. I've only read Gate of April of these um, four, actually. And then I have some Janna Morris. This is uh, some These World tie-in stuff. Then I have some Lynn Abbey. This is, um, I read this one. This is a duology I've not read. Here's Girls All in Baden Hill. Um, I have a blurb on this book, which is pretty cool. Um, here is a Greyhawk book, some Dragonlance, Childhood's Inn by Arthur C. Clarke. Another Forgotten Realms book section. There's lots of those. If this is not Forgotten Realms, more at Greenwood. This actually has three layers on this shelf, so <laughs> there's Conan back there. There's more Forgotten Realms. I think this shelf has largely Forgotten Realms, actually. Let's see. More Forgotten Realms. Well, actually, that is uh, my Greyhawk and Eberron books. That is the Saga of Old City uh, by Gary Gygax himself. Uh, more Forgotten Realms books. Actually, that's mostly my Drist books. Look at that. I'm just doing a great tour here. Then I have several copies of the Book of Mormon. I'm sure you saw that one coming. Um, anyways, I have a Halo book from Shadows of Reach. Uh, Percy Jackson, home hardcover. I got these for Christmas when I was uh, quite young. Had them for a while. Paladin and Bounds, Malister Reynolds stuff, Aversion, House of Sons. So we got Realms book back there. For Frolic on the Amaranthine, Book of Three by Lord Alexander. I've not read that. Fear of Moncroy, some Lovecraft, some more Forgotten Realms. Uh, I, pff, I think some religion books back there. I have also the Dragon Waiting and Neuromancer right on top of the religion books. Take that as you will. Um, <laughs> I have some YA books, uh, Summoner Trilogy. Um, there's a Halo book back there. Oh, here's some magazines, actually, a Sword and Sorcerer magazines. Um, a, uh, Maze Runner prequel. Um, another Halo book. Oh, here's, uh, some historical fiction. Go the ninth. Um, here's the Bulgariad, which I thought was pretty mediocre, to be honest. But you know, there it is. More religion books. Then I have Dune, and up to the third book, I have more Forgotten Realms, some Dragonlance, some Willow books, uh, Janet Morris, and a Tannis Lee. Um, and I have a book by Simon Tolkien, The Amethyst by Lenore Henson, uh, Frankenstein. A Trader Haggard She, some World of Warcraft books, a uh, anthology, uh, No Game for Knights. That is signed by a couple authors, actually. Oops. Uh, there's some Dragonlance back there. Um, I believe that's where like, most of my Dragonlance books are. 
Um, I have some Ender's Game stuff in the back. Uh, this one also is part of like three layers. So there's some Forgotten Realms. That's even a Greyhawk book there. Uh, yeah, you're just getting like the best idea of my collection by seeing just a chunk of it. I have Echoes of the Past, two copies, one is signed. For, uh, first Culture book by Ian M. Banks. I have not read it yet. Jane Carver of War. It's a John Carter of Mars, like, parody type thing. The first two books in um, Howard and Jones's uh, Ring Swan trilogy. I've read all three of them. I just don't have the third one. And his other book, uh, The Desert Souls. Some DJ Butler books. These are all signed. Um, some anthologies edited by Christopher Rocchio. Those are signed as well. Then I have Lord Falsbane and other books by Donaldson. I have not yet read those. I have Dagger, a uh, spell by Catherine uh, Kerr. I haven't read that either. Count Zero by Gibson. I have not read. Uh, 36 Streets is back there. Some Rick Riordan stuff. Uh, Robert Jordan's best book, Warrior of the Altai. Uh, don't at me. Um, oh yeah, and then I have all of my Ted Williams books back there. Um, forgot about those. It's been a minute since I've read him. <laughs> oh, and then I have some like Lord of the Rings knockoffs that you totally probably can't see back here, and I don't remember what they're called. So, yeah, have fun looking at that. Um, but, yeah, that's that bookshelf. So, let's go to the next Okay, one. another terrible bookshelf. Hope you're enjoying this. I have a Stephen King book. It's the only one I have. I don't know if I'll ever read it. I have Unremembered by Peter Rulian. I have The Maminogian, uh, the cool collection of Evangeline Walton. It's, like, novelized. Here's my Malazan books. There is paperwork on top of that. Yes, you've seen that correctly. I have some statues. Birds, wizard. Uh, there, this actually is double layered, this top of this bookcase. Uh, there's some Crown of Stars books um, in the back. Uh, there's there's other books back there that are cool and stuff, like uh, To Ride Hell's Chasms back there, Implied Spaces. But I'm not going to show you that. Some Halo books. I have Aragon. I have Andromeda. It's an anthology which has a story in there by Tom Chibby. That is, he used the pen name, though. Uh, these books that are... Pretty popular, I guess. I read some popular books. Surprise. Uh, anthologies. Mostly sword and sorcery stuff right here. Uh, largely sword and sorcery, actually. Book of Blades. I did a review for that for Spiral Tower Press. Oh, there's another Ted Williams. I didn't know that was over here. Oh, and there's David Farland. I didn't know that was there either. Sometime Lofty Towers. One of my favorite books from last year. Walling Hall by Elizabeth Hand. It was awesome. Uh, Black Company is also one of my favorite books from last year. Uh, let's see. More Forgotten Realms back there. Actually, those are some really good for Admiral's books. Uh, back here we have some Omnibus stuff for uh, Forgotten Realms. I have a Dragonlance book that's in hardcover for Forgotten Realms back there. I think that's largely Forgotten Realms in the back. Uh, oh, look, I have a Robin Hobb book. Surprise. Um, who knows if I'll ever read the sequel. Um, and then I have Robert Jordan. He's spread all over the place and not in any order. I have a copy of Mythical Wood. Uh, Amazon's A Journey to the Center of the Earth. More Ted Williams, for some reason. A RuneScape novel. Uh, more of that. I have a book that has been torn apart, but it is Heinlein. Three Hearts and Three Lions is up here as well. And The Witches of Winchar uh, by Hambly. It's the second book of the series. I have more Forgotten Realms back there. Brimstone Angel series. Um, one of my favorite Forgotten Realms series, actually. Uh, yeah, that green book, actually, I believe Nico from the book reviews got for me. Um, oh, wait. And Magica, which I've not read. Oh, and there's a Merlin TV show novel. Here are my Fritz Leiber books. I have this stuff that I'm sure you don't care to see on top of my books, but who cares? Uh, my David Gimmel stuff is behind Leiber. Leiber's better than Gimmel so far. Um, that's okay, if you don't agree. Um, I've read, like, all of these. I'm getting to these right now. Uh, and then here is my Moorcock books. I have a lot of those. Uh, more Moorcock back there. Um, and then here's Dangerous Visions, uh, Sinister Barrier, um, some other books up there, Jurgen by James French, Branch Cabell. Uh, I have my couple Discworld books, I believe, back there, um, and my Narnia books, which I've never read. <laughs> so, and then I have these books. Yes, Abaddon's Gate is upside down. My child did that, and I did not fix it. Um, I have my Marion Zimmer Bradley collection by, behind that. I, I contemplate getting rid of that pretty often um and then i have some vance this is the same book one's in french and one is in english um a steven erickson book i think i was not willing i just got it because it was new i'm not even close to getting there yet more wheel of time some upside down uh, wearing the cape by marion g Harmon. he's a pretty cool guy i have the integral trees back there it's a pretty bad book by larry niven 
And then I have a Mega Structures Anthology, uh, Voice of War, which is okay, I haven't read the sequels yet. Oh, and some Isaac Asimov back there, I guess that's where Foundation is, and some other sci-fi I haven't read by him yet. And then some Brandon Sanderson, I think this is actually where most of my Brandon Sanderson is. Uh, I haven't read much Brandon Sanderson in the recent years. More Brandon Sanderson behind Brandon Sanderson, crazy. Gathering of Ravens with Scott Odin's pretty good. Terry Brooks. Uh, Kevin, if you know Kevin, the Kevin, he gave me this book, Exiles, um, The Ruins of, as I say, Ambry by Melanie Ron. This is a trilogy that is not finished yet, even though this book came out in like the 90s. Um, you can't see my other books over there because I have a stack of books in the way. There's some more Ted Williams, some Robert Jordan Conan, a book by Ed Greenwood, kind of. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, I have stacks of books right here. These are kind of part of my bookshelf. Um, if you can see what these are, some Forgotten Realms. More Forgotten Realms. There's some uh, Dark Sun. And then we got, what do we got? We got like Lord of the Rings. Oh, more Ed Greenwood, because I love Ed Greenwood. Uh, some more Melanie Ron stuff. Oh, there's the first Cold Fire books from Asimov in this pile. Um, oh, this series. I like this series. <laughs> I'm not going to remember what it is right now. Uh... These books I read a couple years ago and I never finished the third one. Never got it. Uh, the Rune Lords. I read the first one on top there. And then we got more Rune Lords on the bottom. Got some Halo books. Those are pretty good. Made another copy of the Book of Mormon somehow. Another Halo book. I got the new D&D books. I read those. Michael Shabun's Gentleman of the Road. The Man of Swords. I have no clue, honestly. Tannis Lee. The Earth is Flat. Larry Kriya's and Steve Diamond's Servants of War. Dark Souls by Michael Stackpole, The New Conan Book by Sterling, Stephen R. Babs, Scalagram, Heir of the Line by Eric James Stone. Oh, I forgot this one. Here, we'll just stop there. I have other stuff in there. Black Amazon and Mars, though, by Lee Brackett. Don't forget Brackett. Anyways, that is essentially those books. Oh, look, I have Brian Lee Durfee's... I know it says Brian D. Lee, but it's Brian Lee Durfee's, like, first novel that he didn't want published, but, like, you... I don't know if you can still get it, but for a time you could still get it online. And so I was sneaky and got it. Prepare to be ashamed. Here is my third bookshelf. This one is smaller. I have a bunch of books here. Uh, this stack actually right here are all copies. The Dragon Waiting, uh, Night's Head the Long Sun, Dead House Gates, some other books. And then I have H. Beam Piper's Space Viking, Harpy's Flight by Megan Lindholm, which is the cooler version of Robin Hobb, Andre Norton's Stargate, Pavane by Keith Roberts, I haven't read, like, almost any of these, actually. Dark Eidolon by Smith. I've read most of that, actually. But then some stuff by Fryer, who is a buddy of Fritz Leiber's. There is that game book I had streamed once on my channel, Spawn of Dragon Spear. There's some Lavi Tidar, Central Station. Uh, some Michael R. Collins stuff. Conan Pastiche. Um, there's an EverQuest book on the bottom by Scott Sienson. Sorry for my terrible filming skills. The Stress of Her Regard by Tim Powers. Uh, this will probably be the first Tim Powers I ever read. Steve Diamond's uh, Residue. Steve is cool. That's a sign book. Uh, Bloodstone by uh, Carl Edward Wagner. I've never read any of him either, so I'm going to change that. Jack Vance, of course. I have Lord of the World by some Catholic priest or something like that. And then Harry Harrison, which is co-written by Tom Shippey, The Hammer and the Cross. And then Guy Gavril K, The Last Light of the Sun. So those are, that was probably going to be my first K book. And then if we go over here, we have another part of my terrible shelf. Martha Wells, Wheel of Infinite, which I thought was not as good as I hoped to be. I have a bunch of cherry books. I have some Zelazny, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars. There's some Burrows right there. You're not going to see, like, half of my books. Like, I'm serious. Like, this, this is covering up RuneScape books. Barbara Hamley. There's my Thieves World collection, which are awesome. More Zelazny. Um, here's my Gene Wolf books. Here are the Shadow of the Torturer and yada, yada, yada. Here's Long Sun. Here's my Joel Shepard books. Spiral Wars, starting with Renegade, and uh, Cassandra Kuznov novels, Crossover and Breakaway. There's a few more of those I don't have. We have Lord of the Lights, some more Zelazny. Uh, we have Mythica Wood again, Bujold, uh, some B.J. Butler books. Those are all signed. Uh, Red Sister, uh, Gray Sister, Holy Sister. I read those a while ago. Um, the last two books in the Chaos Queen Quintet, Kings of the Wild. It's been a while since I read that. Um, let's see if we can spot anything behind these. We have Dragon's Bane. We have some Brandon Sanderson back there. Um, oh, we have that uh, that one trilogy that has guns and stuff. 
but it's fantasy. Anyways, <laughs> um, Margin Wolf, Peace, Fifth Head of Cerberus, Operation Ares, which is actually pretty difficult to come by. Um, and then I do have a, I do have a copy of uh, um, what's it called? Calde. It's up there actually. I'll show you in a second. And then I have Empire of Silence and Howling Dark. I have all the Sun Eater books essentially. Um, they're all signed as well. So that is a man. I have the those collections as well. Um, and then behind these are just these stacks. There's a bunch of Forgotten Realms books for the most part. Um, let's see if we can find anything else behind here. I have a bunch of classics actually behind here as well. So uh, there's there's my Hammer and the Blade. There's my Canticle for Leibowitz. Yeah, so that's this. But I do have a couple books up here. I have a Magic the Gathering Innistrad book. These are books I've recently read. So I finished the Merchant Aurea. I have this uh, cool book. This will be moved soon. I just got it though. Ibn Fadlan in the Land of Darkness. Uh, Night of the Long Knives by Liber. There's Calday. And here is the current copy of the Canterbury Tales I'm reading. And if I were to go down here, I have a few more books. The lighting's going to be terrible, so I apologize. But you have The Gods Themselves by Isaac Asimov. We have Winnie the Pooh, which is probably the most important book in my collection. William Shakespeare stuff. The Return of the Native, I think. Is that what that is? The Blue Fairy Book by Lang. We have The History of the English Church. That's my only Folio Society. I'm not a huge fan of Folio Society normally. Lamar d'Arthur, of course, to kind of Monte Cristo, a uh, like a facsimile copy of the original um, King James Version, and then Ivanhoe. Anyways, that is that section. So let me go to my last section, which is my Tolkien books and most of my nonfiction. Okay, and then we have the final bookshelf. There is another bookshelf, but it's just my wife's stuff. Um, I wouldn't know what to say. I have some Dragon magazines. Those are not with the rest of the magazines because I'm going to be reading the short stories in those soon. I have Asterix, Le Gaulois, the French, of course. Then there's my Tolkien stuff. So let me put these down here. There's a couple copies of Lord of the Rings. There's a Reader's Companion. This is my original edition of Lord of the Rings right here. I mean, my first edition. Uh, Two Towers, Return of the King. There's the anniversary edition of The Hobbit. French Hobbit, my original version of The Hobbit. A Silmarillion, Children of Furin, which is the first Tolkien book I ever owned, actually, because it's my mom's. Baron Luthien, The Fall of Gondolin, another version of The Hobbit. This is not the version you're probably thinking it is. Maybe I can take it out and show you. It does not have the Red Sun. It has. This is actually the older version. The Red Sun is a later edition. Um, the original Hobbit looks something more like this. This is like a 90s version, though. I have The Perilous Realms. I have what? Majored in what? That's about humanities. I have a box of chocolates. <laughs> Like a little gumball thing for my daughters. Um, the Unfinished Tales, some History of Middle Earth books, Story of Galerbo, The Lay of Otru and Itrun, and then The Road Goes Ever On, which is actually a song book for those who like music. You can get this. This is the second edition. The first edition has red lettering, the second edition has the green. There's a couple books that are just kind of out because I was using them. The Junius Manuscript. Um, it is just straight old English. Um, a, a couple versions of Sir Gowan the Green Knight, Tolkien's included. Here is the original Middle English Sir Gowan the Green Knight. Here are most of these things. I'm blinking on what they're called right now. Um, Robin Hen, that's what it is. They're like a little periodical from Tolkien Society. Here's a lot more Tolkien books. Legend of Sigurd and Gudrun, um, Ankara Navisa, uh, Fall of Arthur, Beowulf, um, the Letters of J.R.R. Tolkien, a biography, um, Finn and Hengis, um, Monsters and the Critics, and other essays. I have a bunch of stuff sitting in front of the rest of that. I do have some Tolkien, um, Tolkien uh, studies, uh, like journals back there, some Tom Shippey books, uh, Oxford Ding English Dictionary of Etymology, the uh, Quetin Ilamber El Daiva, which is a guide on how to speak Quinya. Um, uh, another copy of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Well, it's I'm pretty sure it's just mostly most of Chaucer's stuff. Um, some old English stuff, Laughing Shall I Die by Shippey. Um, just a lot of stuff. Um, sorry, focus is bad. Some Anglo-Saxon stuff, old English 
um, English language stuff, some a, a archaeological like pamphlet from the Marlowe Warlord. Um, Shippy's latest book, Beowulf from the North Before the Vikings, Narrow Bridge by Isaac Newman. This guy was a rabbi emeritus at the synagogue that I went to when I was a kid. Uh, La Chanson de Roland, this is uh, the French version of the song Roland. Uh, this is actually side by side with the old French. Um, some Tacitus, uh, The Grip of the Minotaur, which is a pulp adventure. Uh, Pierce Plowman, The Long Ships by Franz Bingston. This is a great historical novel, kind of like a saga. Radcliffe's The Mysteries of Adolfo. Uh, Pastoral Care by Gregory the Great. This is the old English version. Uh, this Mighty Scourge. This is a Civil War uh, stuff. Uh, Quantum, which is about quantum like revolution. Uh, Can Animals and Machines Be Persons by Justin Liber. It's for Liber's son. Flame and Crimson, A Great History on Sword and Sorcery by Brian Murphy. I did a video on one of the chapters in this called Why Sword and Sorcery. So if you go to my fantasy essay videos. A Witsis Study. Um... Exploring Fantasy Worlds, I, so that's where I get some of my essays for that Fantasy Essays series. Iliad, uh, Castle of Otranto, English version of, of the Song of Roland, Don Quixote, or Quixote, uh, Lord Dunsany's, the King of Elfland's Daughter, um, the Dialogues, <laughs> uh, then some of the Robert E. Howard Journal, The Spring Harvest by uh, Jeffrey Bage Smith, which is Tolkien's best friend and from college, The Villain Sagas, Lexicon Earthus for studying book of the new sun and i think this is shippy's first published book poems of wisdom and learning in old english uh it's pretty hard to find actually and then we go down here we have a illustrated version of the worm word verse stephen sailor did some good um like roman historical fiction all hollows eve by charles williams he is one of the inklings besides c.s lewis and tolkien only williams i've read uh, to kill a mockingbird of course uh the malorn is the tolkien society journal it looks kind of like a magazine in this case there are some philological journals back there. It's a, a journal of English and Germanic philology and then modern philology. Um, how to look at art. Uh, we get uh, mostly Roman stuff down here. We have an instruction old French. It's a Latin a grammar that is upside down for some reason. I just realized my old French textbooks. We got more Latin stuff. I've taken a lot of Roman classes over the years. I am in no ways a classicist, but I've honestly wouldn't be surprised if I have enough classes to almost get a classics degree in as far as a uh, bachelor's goes. Pharsalia, uh, Constellation of Philosophy. Um, this is Relihan's translation. Constellation of Philosophy is awesome. Uh, old Frisian. I took an old Frisian class once. Uh, here is a kind of like well-balanced uh, old journal called Anglo-Saxon Elan. These are the first and third issues. Still goes on. It's, it's just uh, um, digital now only. The Li La Livre de Mormon was the French Book of Mormon. Here is Mormon's book, which is the Icelandic one. Uh, Hravenkill Saga. We also have Eil Saga. And then what else do we have? Like Germanic stuff. Yeah, Old English and its ghost relatives. Uh, there's Celtic myths, gods and heroes back here. There's some Celtic books I didn't talk to him about most of them. Oh, there's the Vercelli book. There's also the Beowulf manuscript. It's called No Codex sometimes. These books are the ones I'm more recently reading. How Traditional Works by Drought, uh, which I talked about in uh, my video about Thou. Uh, the Waiting Sword by Pettit. The Word Horde by Hannah Vadin. Anglo Saxon Eaglin and the Visual Imagination. Sorry for all that background noise. I told them to be quiet, but we have guests over in the house. Uh, the Origin and Deeds of the Goths by um, Jordanus. Um, the Art of Beowulf by Broder, who is the guy who co-wrote this book. It's a pulp adventure book. Uh, Britain After Rome by Fleming. Formative Britain, probably the heaviest book I own. It is Awesome by Martin Carver. This book is bigger, but this just has more paint, like, you know, colored pages and pictures. Oxford Handbook of Anglo-Saxon Archaeology, and then Pauline Tins the Elder Gods. Um, that is basically it. And then real quick, I have the My Bedside Books. Wolf of the Steps by Harold Lamb, Terra Incognita, um, which is edited to DMR book, The Aberone Chronicles, Clark Ashton Smith stuff, uh, The Adventures of Fated in Serkman, or Serkman, I think, yeah, okay. Um, this is also Broder. And then Aubrey Howard's a, The Bloody Crown of Conan, the second volume of Conan novels, or stories, rather. So those are my books. Uh, sorry that, that they're not very pretty displayed.
Um, I used to care more about my presentation of books. I would like to more in the future. I've moved around a lot in the, in the past several years. And uh, I just, I used to be really particular, like I want a specific spot for this book before I buy it. And now I'm just like, I'd rather have the book so I can read it. Um, it's just my hobby, obviously, is reading. And I'm very blessed with, to have a lot of books, um, I feel like. And uh, sorry in some ways uh, that you didn't get to see all of my books. Uh, there's definitely a ton you didn't see. Uh, because of the shelving situation. So anyways, this has been Liam's Lysim though. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat, even if it's a little tongue-in-cheek, but uh, I'll catch you next time.